Exercise 11. The following information is available for Ballard Company for the year ended December 31, 2011. Balance of retained earnings December 31, 2010, prior to the discovery of an error, is $858,000. Cash dividends declared and paid during 2011, $27,000. And here's the error. It neglected to record 2009 depreciation expense of $36,600 which is net of $6,100 in income taxes. In Letter D, the company earned $219,000 in 2011 net income. We're asked to prepare a 2011 Statement of Retained Earnings for Ballard Company. When a material error is made, and it's not found until the following year, we have to take the balance as originally reported, $858,000, and correct for the error. This is called a prior period adjustment. By not recording depreciation expense in 2009, retained earnings was too high. The adjustment for depreciation would reduce the balance in retained earnings. Prior period adjustments are always recorded in after-tax dollars. The pre-tax amount of depreciation expense was $42,700. And after the tax impact, it's $36,600. The retained earnings balance that should have been recorded on December 31, 2010 is $821,400. Now that the beginning retained earnings balance has been corrected, we proceed with the normal 2011 activity. Add net income, $219,000. Subtract the dividends, $27,000. The retained earnings balance on December 31, 2011 is $1,013,400.